Hello, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to Ethernet and AJCAD webinar based on HVAC um, design in Revit. Uh, today we should be here with my colleague uh, Annalie. Uh, she's a BIM consultant and certified Autodesk professional but uh, she is missing and uh, I will lead the webinar by myself. So, my name is Jakuba Sveishvila. I'm a HVC engineer from AJCAD company and I'm BIM application engineer and certified Revit professional. Um, so, today we will speak about uh, the RAS manager and smart diffusers and uh, the webinar will be held in English language because uh, the Anneli is missing and uh, I'm only the English speaking person. Um, so just in case uh, I want to know if you can hear me and if you can see my screen so if you could uh, raise your hands and go to uh, meeting dialogue just on the right side of your monitor just uh, rise up your hands please if you could see me. Yeah okay so I see that uh, that some of you can do that. So let's go further. So that's my picture. And uh, here's some information about the Itanex. So the Itanex is a really nice company. It uh, has uh, more than 6,000 uh, 6, of CAD, uh, CAD uh, and BIM users uh, in uh, uh, Netherlands. They started, uh, started working in 1996. And um, they are working right now with us, uh, with Revit and, uh, and the Revit tools. So we are, we are AJCAD and uh, we started work in 1988 and uh, we have more than 8,500 8, licenses uh, sold all over the world and we have a lot of different solutions and uh, a lot of different uh, tools for Revit. Um, so in this webinar uh, we will uh, we will learn how to prepare architectural model to work uh, to, to get started to work with HVAC systems as well how to calculate supply and exhaust airflows for spaces how to add information for ventilation families basically how to prepare your ventilation uh, how to prepare your ventilation uh, uh, families for for the work and as well uh, we will will learn how to use smart elements to design ventilation systems and uh, at the very beginning I will speak a little bit about RAS manager so this tool can um, place rooms and spaces manage with rooms and spaces and areas as well it can take uh, the information from rooms and place that information into spaces as well it can calculate the specific supply and exhaust airflows and uh, afterwards I will speak about really nice solution that is called smart diffusers uh, which can add engineering data from the PDF or JPG files to your families and uh, it can scan that make uh, that be um, as a number of values and uh, to use that uh, in your in your design processes so right now I'm going uh, to my Revit and I will start uh, start working with our tools so here you can find uh, here I can find really nice uh, thing we call it doc and all the tools are placed here so as I told you I will use RAS manager and smart diffusers in this webinar today so firstly I will try to use my uh, RAS manager so the RAS manager is a tool that can um, that can place spaces or rooms uh, into the model so if I will have new new space or new area in my building uh, for example over there I will be able to I will load firstly uh, the data to my uh, to my Revit I will go to manage the rooms and I will try to place room inside of my building. 
so I will have all the all the all this stuff uh, right here so let's try to open maybe new project it will be easier to understand how it works uh, so I'm just drawing um, something like this I'm going to place room and it again allows me to open the text file so I will open the Netherlands standard rooms that I have here you will see that some of these rooms has um, needed HVAC parameters so all the information is hidden under HVAC ID parameter so if I will place the living room into the model it will automatically create uh, new parameters I will place it here and I let's say that is all so I have one space over there if I will go to the space manager and I will ask uh, to place spaces by all rooms my tool will create new parameters as well as you can see HVACID parameter and uh, it will add some new parameters inside of this space so let's check what do we have over there and uh, you can find that I have like temperature, like uh, supply air per person, supply air per area and all the needed parameters for spaces and all this information is hidden under um, is hidden under the uh, under that HVAC ID parameter. How it looks like I, in the text file so I will open that you will see that I have a text file with the room names uh, and the building name and the room name as well I have HVCID this parameter and in accordance to that I have some new parameters over there like temperatures like uh, air changes per hour air change per person and so on and so on so if it's needed you can add your new building type new um, new just room name new parameters so over there save that and you will be you will you will be given the those tools that I have here even if you do not work with the architects that have uh, these um, this RAS manager you will be able to place spaces just simply from that text file that uh, that you have inside here or you just created uh, by yourself and uh, for example, I will take, um, I don't know, supply, okay, this one, I will go and I will insert it and I will click OK. So you can, you can add your needed spaces like this just from our tool. So what is the main thing why I'm doing that? So I'm doing that because I will be able to calculate specified supply airflow and uh, and specify exhaust airflows so let's click on that button and as you can see I have two different spaces over there of different areas and different volumes and they have different parameters like supply air per area so let's try to calculate supply air per area and I have specific supply airflow calculated over there if I will hit on this one I will have different one if I will hit on this one I will have such airflows for my spaces so if you can see all this information was transferred just straightly into my supply specific airflow parameter um, so after you will do some calculations like uh, if the our solution will calculate some specified airflows you will need to distribute your elements into the model uh, but the elements could be just simple elements uh, from your library or those elements could be smart so if the elements will be smart you will be able to calculate the type to calculate the airflow to calculate the pressure drop so we suggest the smart diffuser solution for you to add some um, additional engineering data to the families so I have CRL Lindab diffuser just um, just a simple family geometry of the connector 
and I will take it and I will try to add some engineering data to the family. So the new window will appear here. So this is our, our window that we have and uh, I'm going to here. I will take ceiling diffusers PDF file and I will look for a CRL diffuser. Next. Okay, so here we go. So I have CRL diffuser information over there and as you can see I have uh, some logarithmic graphs and <clears throat> I will simply take a snapshot of it and I will copy that. I will go back to my Revit and uh, I will paste that. And as you can see, I pasted that into my Revit, just simply. I'm going to some configurations and I will write pressure drop. That I will, I will try to calculate the pressure drop in accordance to the flow and to the type lines. So I'm clicking OK. Um, just simply, I have some units like pascals, liters per second or cubic meters per hour or um, any type I, I need. And uh, right now, I will kind of scan this picture because right now it's only picture. And I want to get this chart just in my family. So I'm picking the left bottom corner. I picked it. Um, yes select top right point of the chart so I'm going to do that okay I'm clicking on it uh, right now I'm adding the ear flow the starting point of the ear flow it's 30 liters per second I'm adding the end ear flow it's 1200 I'm adding the pressure drop that starts at 7 and I'm adding the last point of uh, the pressure drop that ends at 150. So that means uh, that means uh, I just um, how to say I just said to my uh, to my computing machine that uh, my chart starting from this point and ending at this point has values from 30 to 1,200 uh, and starting from here from seven it ends at 150. So after this, I have to identify the inclination of my type lines, even the type lines. So I'm picking the line start point anywhere on my chart and I'm picking the line end point. That means if I will take two dots, like um, connected to the one, no, the, the one line, I will get uh, the type line over there and I will transfer that type line to my uh, each of types like 315, 400 and so. So after you will do all these steps, um, create new configuration, paste the image, choose, uh, choose the units, pick the left uh, bottom corner and the right top corner, add some ear flows and the pressure drop, say where your type lines are located and the chart information will be collected successfully. So right now this is not only the chart, this is not only the picture, but it can calculate your um, your pressure drop for example. So as well you can add some additional attributes like maximum sound level or something like this. So I'm adding 35 decibels and I'm picking point on 35 decibel uh, decibel line okay and I'm adding that as you can see I have uh, I have the red line so the red line identifies the maximum sound level so after this is done you can add uh, as many as you need sound levels uh, after everything is done just click OK and all the information will be installed or written into your family. So anytime you will need, you will get that chart inside of Revit. So here I have, uh, here I have the, the space where I will try to use my family. So I'm going to insert 
some position symbols firstly to identify the places of my um, of my future diffusers so I have some uh, default elevations, I have some distances on X and Y directions, so I'm working with that, so I'm saying that I need uh, two and a half meters in between two uh, in between two diffusers I'm clicking apply that and as you can see I have distributed my elements, so if I will uh, measure the distance, so I have two and a half and two and a half, so that means that we get really nice distributed elements throughout all my project or all my space. So this is only the generic model that shows uh, that shows the connectivity in between the space and in between the real uh, in between the real uh, diffuser. So after this, I'm going to insert diffusers to position symbol, and I'm going to pick that one that we just created the view from the geometry to the smart family so I'm picking on any of these uh, any of these uh, types I'm clicking OK OK and as you can see I have real diffusers distributed on my uh, position symbols so after my diffusers are located really nicely located on my project I will try to find optimal diffuser space, uh, diffuser type in the space. So it automatically, it automatically finds the specified supply airflow, and it marked uh, the blue line. We have the red line that identifies the maximum sound level, and we have X and Y uh, numbers of diffusers. So while I'm changing the number of diffusers in some in some cases over there, uh, the green line pops over there, and uh, I'm able um, to change the number of these elements on x and y directions, and uh, the airflow in cubic meters per hour that depends on the um, project units, and uh, the pressure drop will be calculated instantly but as you can see my green line just pops up a little bit um, through the red one so I will find the type and uh, as you can see it finds new type for my uh, for my families after this I'm clicking OK and uh, let's ch check the visibility range yeah, so they just pop up a little bit. Uh, so yes, so my diffusers just have uh, 250 cubic meters uh, per hour of the airflow and the pressure drop like this. So anytime um, I will be able to manage my virtual group if it's needed. Let's make that. Okay, so I have three elements and that's really, really nicely distributed into my model. So I added, uh, I added engineering data to my family and uh, I, I chosen the flow, airflow and the pressure drop for it. So, but this could be done not only with uh, the diffusers, this could be done with different families like uh, silencers, like, um, I don't know, uh, fire dumpers or something like this. So I'm going inside here. Okay, let's open this one. So... Okay, accessories. So as you can see, I have just little branches over there. So if I will pick this one and I will go to edit flow and choose ear terminal. Okay, I'm not allowed to do that. But if I will go to this one and I'm going to manually update duct accessory, you will see that uh, my fire dumper just have something similar to, to that one that I showed to you. So this is really nice that you can find the points um, 
in accordance to the velocity you can find some points over there and even if you will try to add different logarithmic graphs to it you will find that here as well and you will be able to choose the family types if if you have ones so if i will take this um if i will take this silencer um and i will go to manually update duct accessory you will see that the airflow is 110 it is finding the point over there and it is saying that uh, the pressure drop will be such if i will change the the type the green line will just pop up and uh, the pressure drop will be different comparing to, to that so as you can see the pressure drop will be calculated and uh, if I will change something here like 150 of liters per second and I will go over there and I will check what what's what's the difference and you can see that I have something uh, more than 10 there's something like uh, 12 let's check yeah it's 1203 pascals so it is automatically calculating uh, it is automatically calculating your needed uh, pressure drop and and it in advance uh, to the airflow that was added to your family uh, as well you can add different charts to your uh, to your types of elements so in this case I have um, linda up ceiling diffuser with the box and as you know we have diff a little bit different um, how to say a little bit different uh, graph over there so we have separate images for each type so if I will change the type I will have only the how to say I will have different images over there and in accordance to that I will be able to calculate my needed my needed stuff so this is a brief introduction to, uh, to what we have for ventilation system so we can help you to transfer information from the rooms into spaces uh, we can ca we can help you to calculate uh, we can help you to calculate uh, airflows like supply and uh, return airflows. We can help you to create your own library. So that means you if you will create these elements and if you will add um, if you will add that uh, information from from the graphical form into your family once. Uh, it will be there forever and you will be able to share those families with your colleagues and you will be able to use those families uh, for you so this is really nice uh, comparison of uh, the magic ad or something like this so so you will you will be able to do some calculations inside of Revit more calculations than you have now and uh, afterwards you will be able to use these families easier than ever. So all these families will do some calculations instead of, of you. So that is really nice. So basically, uh, we have a lot of different, uh, different solutions starting from MEP uh, for sprinklers, ventilation, heating uh, systems, uh, hanging, the MEP line based elements we have cut opening that stands for making openings around MEP line based elements we have BIM tree uh, that stands for changement of uh, of your families inside of the project we have smart details that stands for constructions and inserting of little uh, little detailings for for your drawings and the model we have smart browsers for browsing the libraries we have wood and metal framings with export CNC machines we have smart assemblies uh, for constructions and making assemblies of uh, constructions as well we have tools for Revit add-ons that some of these are free and you can download them and try to use because uh, they are really powerful as well as as the 
uh, as the real ones because we have smart browser uh, that's uh, the son of this one it's free because it has some limited uh, limited uh, configurations as well we have cut opening free that is a son of cut opening and it has some free uh, some limited uh, limited conf configurations so this is our bucket of tools and if you need something just uh, just come to us and uh, here we have uh, one shortcut to all trials, tools, updates, uh, information, uh, news, and, and so on and so on. So we call it uh, itanex.com BIM tools. And you will be able to get it for free for 40, for 40 days. Not it, but uh, any of these tools. And just go to the uh, to the www.itanex.com or www.toolsforbim.nl and uh, download and it is gratis um, it is free and you will get free tools for more just for free so thank you thank you very much for your attention thank you for your time and uh, if you will need uh, something from our part or or from Internex, just um, just here are some contact information information info at itanex.com and info at aga minus cat.com. So thank you again, and I wish you to have a great great day today. Goodbye.